Okay. The goal here is to use node voltage analysis to uh, find the voltages at node A, B, C, and D in the circuit. And here we'll work with something known as supernodes. A supernode is a situation in a circuit where a voltage source, for example like this, has node A and node B on two sides of it and neither of it is a reference uh, voltage node. Similarly we have C and D on two sides of this dependent voltage source and neither C nor D is a reference node. So this big node is called a supernode and this big node is called a supernode. So in order to start the analysis, first let's draw the direction of the currents. And the direction of the current uh, does not matter. It's an arbitrary decision. So here is my five currents. Uh, for voltage V2, since we're dealing with supernodes here and here, well, first let's use KVL. And using KVL, we can write down the voltage V2 as being equal to voltage at A minus voltage at BB. Similarly, voltage V1 can be written as Vc minus Vd. So at V2, we have 21. And at V1, we have Vc minus Vd equals 3Vx. And Vx is in turn Va minus Vd. So if we take this equation right here and group all uh, A, B, C, and D voltages on the left-hand side, we get 3Va minus Vc minus 2Vd is equal to 0. So we have two equations so far. Now let's apply supernode 1. On supernode 1 and supernode 2 we're going to use KCL. So supernode basically means uh, in this case we use KCL and all the currents going into a supernode should be equal to the current coming out of the supernode. For instance supernode 1, so let's do apply KCL at supernode 1. So we have uh, I1, which is this coming out, I2 is coming out, I5 is coming out, and the total current going in is 10. So we have I1, I2, I5 equals 10. Now I1 is basically VA minus the reference divided by 2. So we can write that in terms of the voltages. I2 similarly is VB minus VC divided by 6. I5 is VA minus Vd divided by 3 and that all is equal to 10. So if we rearrange everything uh, we get this. Now we apply KCL at supernode 2. Applying KCL at supernode 2 we see the current going in is I2 and I5. Current coming out is coming out is I3 and I4. So I2 plus I5 equals I3 plus I4. Now I2 is VB minus VC divided by 6. Uh, I5 is VA minus VD divided by 3. Similarly, I3 is VC minus the reference node divided by 4. And I4 is VD minus the reference node, which is 0, divided by 1. So we have this expression right here. We'll, we want to similarly group all the coefficients of VA, VB, VC, and VD and write them as so we have here four equations. We have one equation in terms of EA and VB. We have second equation in terms of EA, VC, VD. Third equation in terms of the four voltages VA through VD. And the fourth equation VA through VD. So we have four equations and we have four unknowns. So now using these four equations, write down, let's write down, uh, write them down in a matrix format like this. So the matrix basically has all the coefficients of VA here, VB here. VC here and VD here. So if I was to do matrix multiplication, I have VA times 1, VV times minus 1, VC times 0, VD times 0 is equal to 21, and so forth. The nice thing about writing this is now we can use uh, something like MATLAB to solve this problem. In MATLAB, we can solve this by entering this as a matrix, entering this as a matrix, and this voltage can be found by taking the inverse of this large matrix and multiplying that with this. So that's what we're going to do. So let's enter the matrix in MATLAB. So here it is, it made the coefficient, these coefficients have been arranged in MATLAB. Space designate the columns, or 
semicolon separate them into rows. So I have one, two, three, four rows, four columns. So I have a four by four matrix. So I hit enter, I get this. Now let's enter the vo uh, the voltage matrix uh, on the right hand side. Oh, sorry, the Y matrix on the right hand side. So we get Y is 21, 0, 10, 0. So this is a column matrix because it's separated by semicolons. So I get Y. Now the voltage is equal to inverse of this matrix R times Y. So let's do that. V is inverse R times Y. We get V equals 27, 676 and minus 47.5. This 27 is VA. 6 is VB, 176 is VC, and minus 47.5 is VD. Now, for this particular circuit, let's go ahead and use Nassel Instruments Multisim to verify if these results are correct. So, okay, here it is. So, here's Nassel Instrument Multisim. The same circuit has been drawn here. Uh, on the dependent source, you can change the value of the dependent source. Here, dependent source was 3VX, and the voltage across R2 was 3VX. And in NI multi-sim, we write that by saying 3 times voltage at node A minus voltage at node D. So 3VA minus VD. Okay. We're going to run a DC analysis. So go to simulate, analysis, DC operating point. And we want to observe the voltages at node A, B, C, and D. So highlight all four of them. You can hold the control button as you're doing it. Hit add. And now let's say simulate. So when you simulate, I see VA as 27 volts, VP as 6 volts, VC as 176 volts, and VD as minus 47.5 volts. And that was exactly what we had here 27 676 volts and 47.5 volts